All right, so it's been a while since I did an unboxing video, um, so hopefully I remember how to open boxes. Um, but we've got the Google Wi-Fi here. They put in this nice little sleeved box, just like um, just like a lot of the other hardware that they've been coming out with recently, like the Google Home. So let's take this thing out and see what's in it. And that kind of tight. Oh, there we go. Ooh, another Google logo. Hey, come on. Alright, let's pull this tab up. Oh, there it is. With another Google logo on it. Alright, so... It's actually... It's very, very similarly shaped to the Google Home itself. It's a lot shorter, though. Um, and I think... It feels like it's wider. Um, but okay, oh, here we go. On the bottom, we've got a couple of Ethernet ports, and oh, that looks like a USB Type C port. I think it is. Let me compare it here. Yeah, yeah, power everything with USB Type C. Excellent, excellent. Um, oh, and a little clicky button, probably like a reset button or something. Oh, or maybe that's WPS. I don't know. Anyway, back to the box. Uh, oh, and a uh, Wait, how many Google logos have we seen so far? One, two, three, four. Four Google logos. Nice. Alright, so what's on this piece of paper? Alright, let's get started. Quick start guide. Excellent. Yep, I know how to plug it into power and plug it into Ethernet. Thank you. Wait a minute, what did that say? Download the Google Wi-Fi app. Okay, so I need a separate app for this. I was kind of hoping that it would go through the um, Google Home app, which I already obviously have. It would be one thing, one app for everything. Um, and it looks like we just have our cables. Okay, so oh, USB Type-C. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Oh, but it's not... <laughs> I was kind of hoping that it would just be like a big old brick plugged into a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Because um, then I'd have lots of interchangeable... USB to USB C cables, but no. And then Ethernet cord. Cool. So that is everything that came in the box. All right, let's go set it up. All right, I've brought the Google Wi-Fi up here to the spot where we had our old router. This is actually on top of one of our fridges, um, but we've we've tested out like a bunch of different locations, and this is the best spot in this particular house. Uh, to get full coverage, so I'm gonna plug us into this wonderful extension cord we've got up here, and then we bring goodness, bring this over here and plug it in. Gosh, it glows. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that's I'm so here for that. Okay. So ooh, ooh, hello. Pulsing, pulsing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna plug in the Ethernet cord that is coming from our modem. And stick it in right there. Come on, it should click. There we go. Alright, and it looks like yeah, the uh, second Ethernet port is just to pass along the signal to some other device. Okay. So we got everything resting nicely. All right, here we go. I'm going to open up the Google Wi-Fi app to get it set up. All right, yes, let's get Google Wi-Fi set up. I'm glad you found it. It's right next to it. Uh, oh, scan QR code, okay. That's pretty. Uh, okay, where is this? This is in the dining room. Here we go. Wi-Fi name. Okay, you guys don't need to see this part. 
All right, so after I put in the network name and password that I want, it starts setting up, and it's got this lovely little animation. All right, connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, oh yeah, I don't have any more. So one of the nice things about Google Wi-Fi is that it can create a mesh network with other Google Wi-Fi points. Um, our current home is not too big, so we don't actually need more than one point. But it's nice to know that if we ever move to like a larger house, that uh, we need more coverage, and we could just get like one or two more points, and and then the whole house is covered. 